friends and welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Saturday friends, it is Saturday so it is grocery haul day. I'm sweaty because it's hot here and I've been running around grocery shopping, bringing everything, putting it all away, filming it, but I'm really excited to share with you all the good stuff that I picked up for the week. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on so you never miss a grocery haul or any other video. I have a really special majorly requested video coming your way tomorrow, so make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized macros and calories, definitely recommend, and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group, come on over, join us there. We'd love to have you. So let's jump in to the grocery haul. So to start out this week's grocery haul, I went to Sprouts. I actually had a $10 off $75 when spent at Sprouts, which is a really good deal. So I did go ahead and use my coupon. So I spent the $75 and let me show you what I picked up from Sprouts. First thing is something I always, always get. Actually, I realized they have just all white meat chicken, which I didn't realize. I was always buying the dark and light meat. So now I just go ahead and grab the light meat. It's zero points, it's pre-cooked, pre-shredded, Really, really good chicken. I absolutely love it and it's really nice just to have it on hand. And then I found these sirloin beef kebabs. These also look really good and I thought, again, it's ready to go, it just has to be warmed up. Either Troy or myself can eat these for a protein for lunch or dinner. A couple of crunchy snacks. Siete actually came out with kettle cooked potato chips and you can see they kind of look like those kettle brand but much better ingredients and of course I had to pick up the sea salt and vinegar. Here's your ingredients. I mean absolutely perfect ingredients, great oil, great everything and these are currently on sale I think for like two or three dollars a bag at Sprouts and then these are my all-time favorite. I discovered these when I went to San Diego thanks to my friend Kelly. These are the caramelized onion I1 organic protein puffs obsessed 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 they're so good so i grabbed just a couple different crunchy snacks for the week you already know that i have a rice cake with american dream nut butter every day and i am almost out of rice cake so i grabbed the sprouts ones i love these they're 25 calories and the whole pack's a dollar 29 just a couple yogurts i have i think three or four in my fridge and this time i went with siggy's because they're on sale for a dollar 50. so i have the strawberry and then i did go ahead and grab the mixed berry really good ingredient yogurt and really Really delicious. I needed some fat-free or light zesty Italian dressing for a dinner recipe so I just grabbed the one from Sprouts it was $3.29 and then we did buy the Ninja Creamy and we want to experiment with making homemade ice cream regular ice cream cream for Troy, light ice cream for me, using protein shakes and all sorts of stuff. So this trip, I picked up everything we need to really get comfortable with the Ninja Creamy. And then of course, I'll share it with you guys in a what I eat in a day, share some ice cream recipes in my first impression and review on the Ninja Creamy, letting you know whether it's worth it or not. So a lot of the recipes actually call for blue agave. So I went ahead and grabbed that. That is the sweetener in a lot of the ice cream recipes. We needed some eggs. Troy asked for hard boiled eggs for the week. And then of course, we're almost out of just our regular eggs. Some uncured hard salami. This is for a recipe and then Troy likes to have these as you guys know for meat, cheese, and cracker. I needed some basil for a dinner recipe. I've heard really good things about these Vermont uncured turkey pepperoni sticks and I've never tried them and they were on sale for 99 cents. So I picked one up and I thought that I would give it a try. Meat sticks, beef jerky, those are go-to snacks for me to help me reach my protein goals. I also needed some oat milk because that is the staple of a lot of the lighter ice cream recipes in the Ninja Creamy. And I could pass up this cactus he's so cute and I love that the pot is gray and white I'm actually going to put it in my office that was it was only five dollars including the pot and I did grab some of the sprouts sugar cookies for Troy the peanut butter ones were really good so this time I decided just to get the regular sugar cookies and then this is almost got this is half gone <laughs> this is something that I picked up so that I could snack on it on my way to my second grocery store these little kits are great. This is actually the keto snack pack and there were some cucumbers and some strawberries but I ate both of those. And then there's some little cut up meat sticks and some cheese so really convenient lunches or snacks and then everything's ready to go for you. 
and it was $6.54, so not a bad price at all. And then I love Sprouts Produce, so I always buy my produce there. The raspberries were three for $5, and you know I've been loving my berries for dessert with some whipped topping. I picked up another bag of lemons for my water. My mother-in-law thinks our lemon tree will not be bloomed till like December or January, so I need some lemons for my water. Four Roma tomatoes for two separate dinner recipes some fresh parsley for a recipe, a couple of bell peppers, and lastly, some grape tomatoes. So that's everything that I picked up from Sprouts. Let's go ahead and jump into what I grabbed from Fry's, which of course is a Kroger store. They had their little baby bell Gouda cheeses, the little snacking cheeses. These were on sale for $3.99, or I'm sorry, $2.99, which it was a really, really good deal. I think they're usually like five, six dollars. So I picked those up. I also grabbed some mashed potatoes because I like to have these with that pulled chicken from Sprouts. It's just a really quick, easy lunch or dinner. You can throw in some vegetables and we go through these mashed potatoes pretty quickly. I thought it was interesting that they have Home Chef there. They didn't have any other brands, so I just grabbed those. Some sugar-free vanilla pudding. This is for the ice cream recipes. Same with this sun Kiss water enhancer. I'm actually making an orange creamsicle ice cream for me, like a light ice cream. And like I said, if everything turns out good, I'll definitely share the recipes with you in this next week's What I Eat in a Day. I also picked up some xanthan gum because this is another thing that's used in the Ninja Creamy to thicken the ice cream. A couple of little sausage, egg and cheese biscuits. These were on sale for $1.99. I grabbed them for Troy. I thought that they would be a really quick breakfast that he could just quickly heat up. I also picked up a gallon of 1% milk for him. For the lighter, lower calorie ice cream, along with the oat milk as a base, a lot of the recipes called for coconut milk. So I picked up the Simple Truth Organic Light Coconut Milk. Some deli roasted turkey breast for a dinner recipe. Also for the ice cream, the regular ice cream, not the light ice cream. They use cream cheese in the base. So this is the one third less fat cream cheese. Small container of whole milk. This is for a couple of different dinner recipes this next week. More light whipped topping for my dessert. I've told you I've been loving berries with whipped topping for dessert. A couple bags of cheese. I have some part skim shredded mozzarella and some light Mexican blend. These are for dinner recipes as well as some fresh mozzarella. I grabbed this one because it's already cut into slices. So I thought that would be much more convenient than having to cut it myself. Some fat free half and half for the light ice cream recipes. And then also I like to have a little half and half in my coffee sometimes. So I thought I could use the rest of it for that. I did pick up another one of those Shamrock Farm rockin protein shakes with 30 grams of protein. I want to try this in the Ninja Creamy. Some protein shakes work well in there and some do not. I have tried the Alani shakes. They didn't work so well. I've heard that the Fair Life works really, really good. So I ordered a bunch off of Amazon, but I want to try this one as well. Some heavy whipping cream for, again, ice cream. This is for the regular, not reduced fat, reduced calorie version. Some Yasso bars for Troy. These are his sea salt caramel, his very favorite. I like these too, but I usually save them for him. Some more light butter because we are just about out. Some everything bagel thins. This is for my breakfast meal prep. As soon as we're done here with the grocery haul, we'll go through what's on the menu for dinners and what you'll see Monday in my meal prep. And then last but not least, a big bag of salad for Troy. He asked for salads for the week. So that is everything that I picked up from Fry's. Let's jump into what's for dinner and what's for meal prep. Here's what's on my menu for dinners for the week. So Saturday, always out to dinner, leftovers, frozen pizza. Sunday, I'm making caprese chicken. You guys will actually see that recipe in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Monday is shepherd's pie. I actually didn't make that this last week, so I have all the ingredients on hand for that. Tuesday's leftovers. Wednesday, I'm making a cold pasta a salad, an Italian style pasta salad. Thursday is spaghetti, and then Fridays is leftovers. That way we finish up everything from earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing for Monday's meal prep. So for breakfast this next week, I'm making everything bagel casserole. That's why I picked up those everything thin bagels. Lunch is going to be BLTA lettuce wraps. This is like a little adult lunchable type of lunch, so stay tuned for that. And then for dessert, I'm actually going to make cookies. I'm going to make cowboy cookies. I'm really excited to share this lightened up recipe with you, so stay tuned for Monday for all three recipes in meal prep. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the food that I picked up for the week, what's on my menu for dinners, what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep, and don't forget to make sure you're subscribed and you hit your bell so you don't miss tomorrow's video. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course, come on over, join our Facebook group, we'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.